In the back, all you're doing is just seeing the back of everybody's heads. But if you could, just turn around and look at everybody just for a second. Yeah. Now everybody's looking at the wrong way. <laughs> but everybody from here, you got such nice smiles on your faces. You look like you have glows around your head. Now I can understand when the artist uh, draws pictures of Mary and the various uh, patriarchs, they uh, put a little halo around. You can just see a little halo around you all. It's, 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 well, some of y'all's halos are crooked, but uh, <laughs> you, you can just see the little halos around your heads, and, and you all look so good. I am just so happy that I have an opportunity to share a word with you. Amen? Amen, 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 amen. amen. You all heard all of the announcements. Uh, Sister Felicia says that they're on the board. Please look, take a look at our bulletin board and see what the announcements are. Those of you who are computer savvy and you like to go on the internet and look at stuff, uh, check out our website. Uh, matter of fact, it'll be updated this evening. And uh, there are some uh, pictures of uh, some of the ladies. Remember when we, you all all uh, donated to the uh, Ladies in White for the National Baptist Convention? And uh, Sister Mason wanted us to be able to, uh, to participate in that. Well, there was over a thousand women. I, boy, I'm telling you, they all had on white uh, 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 dresses. And the ladies from New Jersey, all of the ladies from New Jersey had on burgundy caps or tams or what do you call those hats? You know, box. Uh, oh, help me out there. <laughs> help me out there, Sister Dolores. It was a peel box. Yeah, they had these, these burgundy peel box hats. They had burgundy uh, uh, corsages on and burgundy gloves. And Lord have mercy, they, they, they were marching and each one had a sign that represented their district. And man, they pranced and marched around that place and they, I mean, think about a thousand women and a few little men sprinkled in, <laughs> but a thousand women in one place and they all parading around. And there is a photograph of the women, and we're going to get that on our, web, on our website so you all can see that. It, it really was a sight to behold, <laughs> to see all those women. And it's a, it's a shame in a way because most churches, look around you, most churches are really supported by the women. And if it wasn't for Brother Bauer and Brother Bradford right now, and myself, <laughs> think about it. So when you see all these women, you just say, thank God for the women. Amen. Because I'm not sure where our churches would be without them. But you women, you all go out there and, and, and rustle up some men. <laughs> you all go out there and, and rustle, up, <laughs> rustle up some men. I'm using the term rustle. That's what you did the cowboys. You said <laughs> rustle the cows. Y'all go out there and rustle up some men and get some men in here too. Because uh, it, it, it was one man last night who was a missionary. We had all these women missionaries. And this one man came in in his white outfit. And he is a missionary. So you all go out and rustle up some men so, so Brother Bauer and Brother Bradford won't feel so alone. They, 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 they sitting there looking at each other saying, oh, I guess I got to come to church. If I don't, won't be no men here. So, so you, all, you all help them out. Amen? Amen. 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 If all the minds don't want a card, please stand. Yes. Bible study. We don't have Bible study. Here's what's happening with Bible study. We're not having it this Wednesday. But the following Wednesday, we're going to be starting Bible study. And the reason being is I'm in class on Wednesday nights now. I'm in school. I'm over at the New Brunswick Theological Seminary. And uh, Reverend Turk is, is in school running back and forth. So we we've, we've made arrangements now for First Lady Cully, my wife, and Reverend Turk, who's going to be heading up the Bible study. So we'll still have our Bible study. But it doesn't start until the following Wednesday. So this week, I, oh, look at them. Y'all just dying to come. Oh, 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 look at them. This week, you still have a reprieve. But the following Wednesday, we will be back to Bible study. Amen? Amen. 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 Thank you, uh, Sister Gaboy. Sister John, keep me on my toe. Thank you. If all minds, any other announcements? Oh, yeah, I, I do. We are working on the Women's Day and Men's Day. So women. It's going to be the fourth Sunday in October. 
It is October. The fourth Sunday in October, put it on your calendars. We are working on Women's Day, and I know all of you all are dying to be on the Women's Day committee. So just get your ideas together and everything because we are working on Women's Day. Right now, I'm just trying to finalize the, uh, the preacher. So don't, don't worry about the preacher, but uh, we are having that. And remember, the second Sunday in November is our church anniversary so that you know that's coming. Amen? Amen. Oh, amen. And now all minds on one accord. Let us sing uh, God Be With You and shake somebody's hand. God be with you, oh God. God be with you until we meet again. God be with you. God be with you. God be with you until we meet again. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for what our eyes have seen and our ears have heard. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you allow us to have a new and higher calling. Heavenly Father, we know that the faith that we have is a good faith. But we're asking you now, Heavenly Father, to move us to a higher level, a level of commitment, a, a level of dedication, one that when things go bad, we will have enough faith to see us through that. Those things, Heavenly Father, that you tell us to do just by your word, allow us to be obedient and to do what you would ask us to do. And Heavenly Father, we'd be so careful to give you the praise and the glory when we do these things. So we ask it in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Now unto him who present us faultless in his throne of grace, rule and rest and abide in these people, henceforth and forevermore. And all the saints said, Amen.